So guys, Robert Garcia, you know, a lot of you, a lot of you were critical of uh, a lot of the fans that thought that Manny Pacquiao could beat Golovkin. Robert Garcia has come out and said he feels that Manny Pacquiao can beat um, Golovkin. Manny Pacquiao's foot speed, his hand speed could cause a lot of problems and even beat Golovkin. Now, a lot of you think this is absurd. A lot of you think this isn't possible. Uh, I'm one of them in the sense that I think it's a very dangerous fight. It's a, a horrible fight, you know, uh, in terms of how dangerous it is. But again, this is a credible guy in Robert Garcia who knows more about me than boxing. Former world champion, right? He's endorsing Manny Pacquiao going into the ring with Golovkin and he even feels Manny can beat him. At age of 41. His nephew, or oh, sorry, not his nephew, what am I talking about? His brother, Mikey, has also endorsed Manny Pacquiao fighting Golovkin. He said Manny should move up to 160 and fight Golovkin. These are guys that know more about the sport than I do. More about the sport than you probably do. And they giving him the go they think that it, it's not a bad move. See, I wouldn't I'm a massive Manny Pacquiao fan, so I wouldn't want to see Manny get hurt and I wouldn't see want to get Manny get ironed out. You know, so the last thing I would want to see is him get knocked out in the last fight he's ever had in or he has in boxing. Because if Manny Pacquiao gets knocked out now, he's probably not gonna come back again. I'm very unlikely. Right? And against Golovkin, there is a high chance that he could get knocked out, you know? Um, so I wouldn't want to see that for a living leverage like Pac to get knocked out like that, you know, against someone so big. And not just knocked out, it'd be one of those fights where you would actually be worrying for Pacquiao's health. It would be a bit like Ali Foreman where you'd be worried. The difference is that, Manny, you know, Ali wasn't so much smaller than Foreman, whereas Pacquiao's a, a midget compared to, not a midget, but he's, he's way smaller compared to Golovkin. And not just that, mass-wise, Golovkin's huge. You know, a lot of you could say to Mar Margarito, it's not about the height, it's about the size. Golovkin's a bigger, he's a bigger thick set guy, you know, than um, Pacquiao. And Margarito even, Margarito was a skinny guy. You know, Ma Golovkin's not a skinny guy, he's, he's filled out, he's big. You know, he's got mass on him. You know, he's a very strong guy. He's got a granite chin. He's, he's, it's, it's a problem. It's a, he's a problem fight. I understand why... I, listen, I understand that Manny could cause Golovkin problems with his hand speed, and, uh, hand speed and foot speed. But can he do it for 12 rounds? That's a big, big problem, right? Because Golovkin's very heavy-handed, right? Can you imagine Golovkin hitting Pacquiao with those body shots that Golovkin hits the guys with? It's, it's not pretty. It doesn't look, it won't look pretty. And I don't know whether that kind of weight is, and also if Manny fights him at 160, isn't that going to slow Manny down? He struggles to, he has to eat seven, eight meals to make 147. Is he going to eat 50 meals to make 160? It's not, it, Golovkin can't make, can't come down to 154 or 155. He can't. He can't physically. He's 39 years of age. He's, he's too old. you got to realise, Pacquiao moving up to 160. Pacquiao has to eat more, right? For Golovkin, he has to cut weight, which he can't cut. He can't cut it because he's too old and he, he, he's 39. He can't afford to cut weight at this age. He fought at 160 his whole career. At amateurs have fought 165. He can't cut the weight to make 154. He's never, I don't even think he's ever fought 154 his whole career. So you're asking him to do something which he's never done before. He, he can't do it. He can't do it. So Pacquiao is going to have to fight him at 160, right? Because otherwise the fight's not possible. Do you see where I'm coming from? I don't think the fight's possible anyway, but there's a lot of people talking about it. And that's getting me thinking that this fight might actually happen, you know? Because do these people that are in boxing know something that we don't? They may do. They may do. Right? There's a lot of talk about it. Mikey Garcia's talking about it. Robert's talking about it. Freddie Roach has come out and said something about it. Bob Arum's come out and said something about it. Do they know something we don't? Possibly. I don't know. I don't know. But I would... I would... I don't endorse it. I, I think it's dangerous. And I think there's weight classes for a reason. Uh, but if Manny wants to 
go ahead and fight Golovkin, then you know, we, like I said, I, I hope he wins. I hope he goes out and does the job. I hope, I hope he does. Hope he goes out and, and beats Golovkin. You know, but like I said, I do think it's a very, very dangerous fight, um, and it's very dangerous. You know, Margarito was nowhere near as dangerous. This is this is on another level dangerous. Um, but can he pull it off? Who knows? If he does. I'll take my hat off today. I'll run. I'll run my whole city. I'll run my whole city if he Pacquiao pulls that off, and I'll record it as well. Um, but what do you guys think? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. Is this gonna happen? Is this gonna happen? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below, guys. And guys, remember to please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. John, I want to thank you all for me reaching 7,000 subs. I appreciate your support. Guys, as you can probably see from my channel art, I have recently started Patreon and Blogger. Um, if you were to click on this uh, icon here, it will take you to my Patreon page. And I just want to take you through my Patreon page. So I've, at the minute, I've got two options. Hopefully, I will increase this if my Patreon grows. But at the minute, I've got uh, one option, which is $1 a month fan donation, which will obviously help me produce better quality content on YouTube and faster for you guys. And I've got another option of $3 a month for two live streams a week discussing boxing with myself. You guys will get to speak to me face to face. Um, and I'll take you to my boxing blog. So if you were to click on the, this B sign here, it will take you to my boxing blogs, which is, which is this page here. And all you have to do is click on here. And that will take you to my boxing blogs where you can see all my different articles that I've wrote. So as you can see, I've wrote six articles about different topics so if you want to click on one of my articles all you got to do is click on this and it will take you straight to the article and you can read it and you can then go back and read the others if you if you would like but yeah guys i thought i'd just highlight this to you um so make sure to read my articles uh, make sure to subscribe to my patreon if you're interested and guys i thank you for your your support i thank you for me reaching 7,000 subs guys i'm out